Hello, this is Janila, the person behind Crafty Crochet Castle. And in this video, I'm going to show you the pattern to crochet this little turkey. This is an intermediate pattern. I hope you would crochet this along with me. To crochet the turkey, I'm using worsted weight yarn in five colors, five mm crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle, stitch markers. For the eyes, I'm using safety eyes here. You can also use black yarn and needle and we would need some polyfill stuffing as well. The details are in the description box below. First, let us crochet the beak. For that, I'm using my yellow yarn. I'm going to start off with a magic circle. To do a magic circle, I'm going to wrap the yarn around both my fingers like this and I'm going to cross it at the point where both the yarn meets. Next, I'm going to pinch it in this place. I'm going to insert my hook inside this ring, yarn over and bring a loop. Next, I'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop. So there we have made our magic circle. This is adjustable and we'll be working around one inside this. So I'll be doing five single crochet inside this ring. To do a single crochet, I'm going to insert my hook in here, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I'll have two loops on the hook. I'll yarn over, pull through both the loops at once. So this stitch is called as a single crochet. I am going to do four more single crochet inside this so that we'll have a total of five single crochet. For the pattern of the beak, we'll be working in rounds and I'm not going to join at the end of each round unless I mention it. So once when we have a five single crochet, I'm going to pull this tail to close the opening. So there we have finished our round one. This ring is adjustable. Now let's work on round two. For round two, I'll do two single crochet in the same stitch. I'm going to insert my hook inside the stitch. Yarn over and bring a loop. And I'll do a single crochet and I'll do one more single crochet inside this same stitch. So next in the next four stitches, I'll be working one single crochet each. So now I'm going to do a slip stitch inside this next stitch to finish off the round and finish off the beak. To do a slip stitch, I'm going to insert my hook inside the next stitch, yarn over and bring a loop and I'm going to bring the loop through the loop on the hook. So there we finished our beak. Make sure to push the right side outside and we can finish off over here. To finish it off, I'm going to trim the yarn over here. Next, I'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop all the way through and then i'm going to tighten this up so there we have completed our beak now let us crochet the waddle for the waddle i'm using a red color yarn and this pattern will be working in rows so i'll start off with slip knot followed by chain seven to do a chain i'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop there we made our first chain i'm going to make six more chains So once when we have our six chains, we'll be working our row one on these chains. So on the third chain from the hook, this is the first chain, this is the second chain and this is the third chain. On the third chain from the hook, I'll be doing two half double crochet in the same stitch. To do a half double crochet, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook inside this, yarn over and bring up a loop. So I'll have three loops on my hook. I'll yarn over and pull through all three loops at once. I'll do one more half double crochet in this stitch. So now on the next stitch, I will do one single crochet. So now we'll have three chains remaining over here. I'll do one slip stitch each in the next three chains. So there we have completed our waddle. I'm going to leave a long tail and finish off over here. Now let us crochet the head of the turkey. So I'm taking my brown yarn. I'll start off with a magic circle followed by eight single crochet inside this ring. For the pattern of the head, we'll be working in rounds and I'm not going to join at the end of each round.
once when I have my eight single crochet I'm gonna pull that tail to tighten this up and there we have completed our round one you can use stitch marker for the pattern of the head to identify the last stitch in each round this is optional you can also use a piece of thread in another color if you do not have a stitch marker now let's start working on round two for round two i'll do two single crochet in every stitch around this round will have a total of 16 single crochet so in my very first stitch over here i will do two single crochet in the same stitch and i will repeat this for the entire round For round 3, I'll work 2 single crochet in my first stitch, followed by 1 single crochet in the next stitch. I'll be repeating this pattern for this entire round and this round will have a total of 24 stitches. For the next 5 rounds, that is from round 4 to 8, I'll be following the same pattern. The pattern is 1 single crochet in every stitch around. Each round will have a total of 24 stitches. So I'll be repeating the same pattern and I'll meet you at the end of round 8. At the end of 8th round, our project looks like this. Now let's work on round 9. For round 9, I'll start off with a single crochet decrease first. To do a single crochet decrease, I'm going to insert my hook inside the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Instead of finishing this single crochet stitch, I'm going to insert my hook inside the next stitch, yarn over and bring a loop. So now we have worked 2 stitches at the bottom. To finish off the single crochet decrease or single crochet 2 together, I'm going to yarn over and pull through the yarn through all three loops on the hook so we have started our stitch with two stitches but we have completed it as one stitch this is called as a single crochet decrease or single crochet two together next on my next two stitches i'll do one single crochet each so this is the repeat pattern for the round the repeat pattern is a single crochet decrease followed by a single crochet in the next two stitches at the end of this round, we would have done a total of 16 stitches and I'm going to repeat this pattern for this entire round. So at the end of this round, I'm going to put a pause to the project so that we can attach eyes and mouth and the waddle to this head. So first I'm going to attach the eyes and I'm going to insert it over here between rounds 4 and 5 with approximately 3 stitches in between. Next I'm going to attach washers to these eyes. The next step is to attach the beak and the waddle. To attach the beak, I'm threading its long tail in a yarn needle. I'm not going to stuff this beak. I'm just going to position it in place and sew it up. The next step is to attach the waddle. So there we have attached eyes, mouth and waddle to our project. The next step is to 
Stuff this up with some polyfill stuffing. So once when you have finished stuffing, we can continue working on the head. We'll work on the last round for our head, which is round 10. In this round, I'll do single crochet together or single crochet decrease eight times. Here we have completed our head. Now let's continue working on the body. For body, I will continue working over here. This is my round 11. For round 11, I'll do one single crochet in every stitch around. This round will have a total of eight single crochet. For round 12, I'll do two single crochet in every stitch around. This round will have a total of 16 single crochet. For round 13, I'll do two single crochet in my next stitch, followed by one single crochet in the next stitch. I'll be repeating this pattern. The pattern is two single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch for this entire round. And this round will have a total of 24 single crochet. For round 14, I'll do two single crochet in my next stitch, followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches. This is the repeat pattern for the round. The repeat pattern is two single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next two stitches. I'll repeat this for the entire round and this round will have a total of 32 single crochet. I'll meet you after I complete this round. Round 15, I'll do one single crochet in every stitch around. This round will have a total of 32 single crochet. And I'll meet you at the end of round 15. For round 16, I'll do two single crochet in my next stitch followed by one single crochet in the next three stitches. This is the repeat pattern for the round. The repeat pattern is two single crochet in the next stitch, followed by one single crochet in the next three stitches. I'll repeat this for the entire round and this round will have a total of 40 single crochet. I'll meet you after I complete round 16. For the next 5 rounds, that is from round 17 to round 21, I'll be following the same pattern. 
The pattern is one single crochet in every stitch around. Each round will have a total of 40 single crochet and I'll meet you after I complete round 21. At the end of round 21 our project looks like this now let's work on round 22 for round 22 we'll begin decreasing so i'll start off with a single crochet decrease or single crochet two together first followed by one single crochet in the next three stitches this is the repeat pattern for the round the repeat pattern is single crochet decrease followed by one single crochet in the next three stitches this round will have a total of 32 stitches and I'll meet you at the end of round 22. For round 23, I'll do single crochet decrease first, followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches. This is going to be the repeat pattern for the round. This round will have a total of 24 stitches. I'll meet you after I complete this round. For round 24, I'll do a single crochet decrease first, followed by a single crochet in the next stitch. This is the repeat pattern for the round. The repeat pattern is a single crochet decrease, followed by a single crochet in the next stitch. This round will have a total of 16 stitches. the end of this round i'm going to put a pause to the project over here and fill this body with some polyfill stuffing now let us work on the last round for the body which is round 25 in this round i'll do a single crochet decrease eight times After completing this, I'm going to join with a slip stitch in my next stitch and finish off over here, leaving a long tail. Now let's see how to close the opening for the body. To do so, I'm going to thread the long tail in a yarn needle and pull this needle through the front loops of all the stitches remaining in the last round. Once when I covered all the stitches, I'm going to pull this tight. There we have closed the opening. You can secure this with a knot if you would prefer that and then we can weave the tail in. To weave the tail, I'm going to insert this needle through the stitch over here and pull it across a random spot. Make sure not to pull this too tight and then you can trim the yarn over here. So there we have completed the head and body for our turkey. Now let us crochet the feet. For the feet, I'm taking my yellow yarn. I'll start off with a magic circle followed by six single crochet inside this ring. This will be my round one. For the pattern of the feet, we'll be working in rounds and I'm not going to join at the end of each round unless I mention it. At the end of the round, I'm going to join with a slip stitch. For round two, I'll do chain one. And this time, I'll be working only in the back loops. Normally, when we are working, we'll insert a hook through both the stitches, this V-shaped stitch. But for this entire round, we'll be working only on the back loops. I will do one single crochet in every stitch around. This round will have a total of 6 single crochet. At the end of the round, I'm going to join with a slip stitch. 
so this is how our leg will begin to look we would have ridges over here and this is our round two for the next six rounds that is from round three to round eight i'll be following the same pattern the pattern is one single crochet in every stitch around each round will have a total of six single crochet you can also use a stitch marker to easily identify each rounds so i'll meet you once when i complete round eight at the end of round eight our legs look like this now i'm gonna join with a slip stitch and finish off over here leaving a long tail you can stuff this leg lightly now let's work on the toes for the toes make sure your finished end faces away from you and we'll be attaching the same yellow yarn to any one of the stitches in round one to attach a stitch i'm gonna insert my hook inside front loops round one and i'm going to turn over and bring a loop and do a chain one now let's form our toes for the toes i'll do chain four and on the second chain from the hook which is this chain i will do a slip stitch and i will do a slip stitch in the next two stitches as well so next i'll be working on a slip stitch in the next stitch so there we made our first toe now let's make our second one for the second one also i'll be doing the same pattern that is chain four a slip stitch in the second chain from hook and a slip stitch in the next two chains and a slip stitch in the next stitch I'll be doing this one more time. And a slip stitch in the next stitch. So now I will do a slip stitch in the next stitch as well. And here I will do chain two and I will do a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook followed by a slip stitch in the next stitch for the entire toes we'll be working only on the front loops remaining of round one now I'm going to finish off over here you can weave these two tails in this is how the leg will look after weaving in all the ends. Make sure to crochet one more using the same pattern. Now let us crochet the feathers. I'm using an orange yarn here. I'll start off with a magic circle followed by six single crochet inside this ring. The pattern for the feather is worked in rounds and I'm not going to join at the end of each round. You can use stitch markers to help with this pattern. Round 1 has a total of 6 stitches. Now let's work on round 2. For round 2, I will do 2 single crochet in my very first stitch. Followed by 1 single crochet in the next 2 stitches. I'll repeat this pattern one more time for this round. The pattern is 2 single crochet in the next stitch. Followed by 1 single crochet in the next 2 stitches. So here we have completed round 2. Round 2 will have a total of 8 stitches. Now let us start working on round 3. For round 3, I'll do 2 single crochet in the next stitch. Followed by 1 single crochet in the next 3 stitches. I'll repeat this pattern one more time for this round. 
the pattern is two single crochet in the next stitch followed by one single crochet in the next three stitches this round will have a total of 10 single crochet now i'm gonna mark the end of round three with a stitch marker for the next five rounds that is from round four to round eight i'll be working on the same pattern the pattern is one single crochet in every stitch around each round will have a total of 10 single crochet and i'll meet you at the end of round eight at the end of round eight our feather looks like this now let's work on round nine for round nine i'll do a single crochet decrease first followed by one single crochet in the next three stitches i'll repeat this pattern one more time for the round and the round will have a total of eight stitches now we are down to the last round for the feather which is round 10 for round 10 i will start off with a single crochet decrease first followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches i'll repeat this one more time for the round and this round will have a total of six stitches So there we have completed 10 rounds in this feather at this point i'm going to flatten out this feather we do not have to stuff this i'm just going to flatten it out and do two single crochet across both the layers and i'm going to finish off over here leaving a long tail so there we have completed our feather make sure to stretch it out crochet four more feathers for this pattern now let us crochet the wings i'm starting off with a brown yarn that i used for the body i'll do a magic circle followed by five half double crochet inside the ring to do a half double crochet i'm going to yarn over insert my hook inside this ring yarn over and pull up a loop i'll have three loops on my hook i'm going to yarn over and pull through all three loops at once this stitch is called as the half double crochet and here i've made one half double crochet I'm going to make four more inside this ring. For the pattern of the wings, I'll be working in rows. Now, after completing five half double crochet, I'm going to pull this tail to close the opening. So you can finish off over here or you can change the yarn color to maroon at this time. So here I've changed my yarn color. Now I'm going to do chain two and I will turn my work over for my row two. For row two, we'll be working on the third loops only. Normally when we do a half double crochet, we have two loops on the top, which is the back loop and this is the front loop and we have a loop at the back, which is the third loop. So for this entire row, we'll be working on the third loop only. So I will do a half double crochet in the third loop in the same stitch. This chain two is to be considered as a half double crochet. So here I have done two half double crochets here. So now for the remaining four stitches, I'll be working two half double crochet each in the third loop only. So there we have completed row two. So because we've used the third loop only, we have a beautiful ridge in the front over here. Now I'm going to change my yarn again for my row three. This time I'm going to change it to orange. For row three, I'll do chain two, turn my work over. And this time I'll be working in the back loops only. So I will do a slip stitch in the back loop only in my same stitch. Now I'll do chain two and a slip stitch in the back loops only in my next stitch. So this is going to be the repeat pattern for this row. The pattern is chain two and a slip stitch in the back loop only in my next stitch. I'll be repeating this for every stitch across. And 
and there would be a total of 10 chain 2 spaces at the end of this row i'm gonna finish off over here leaving a long tail so this is one wing make sure to weave in all the other tails and crochet one more using the same pattern so here i have all the pieces necessary to complete our turkey i have the turkey head and body five feathers two legs and two wings now let's see how to assemble them first i'm going to take the wings and i'm going to position it around around 14 and 15 of the body on the sides like this and sew it up make sure the ridges are facing outside in the wings use the long tail from the wing and thread it in a yarn needle and then sew it along the sides so i'll be repeating this for the other two wings once when you have attached the wings attach the legs at the bottom of a turkey like this use the long tail and sew it up and after attaching the legs we can attach the feather on the back of the turkey this is how our turkey looks after attaching the wings and the legs at the bottom and this is how i am arranging the feathers at the back i am arranging this maroon color around round 15 like this and orange and yellow at an angle below these two now i'll be attaching the feathers on the other side like this So this is how our turkey looks after attaching all the pieces and weaving in all the ends. The back looks like this. I hope you enjoy crocheting this turkey along with me. Please show your support by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.